Friends, the ship you're seeing on your screen is the world's most expensive sea vessel valued at $1.40 billion. To put it in simple terms, you could buy Mukche Shambani's Antilia, the most expensive house in the world, in exchange for this ship. And even after that, you'd still have enough money to live a luxurious life for the rest of your days. There are many enormous ships at sea, some large enough to accommodate an entire city. But have you ever wondered how these sea vessels are constructed and launched? And what happens if a massive ship breaks down in the middle of the ocean? In today's video, you'll find answers to all these questions. Just watch the video till the end. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do so now. So let's get started. You might be wondering how such enormous ships are built. Actually, it takes about three years to construct these vessels. The most significant question is where they are built. If a massive ship is built far from the sea, it would cost millions of dollars to transport it to the water. That's why these ships are constructed near the shore. A space larger than the ship is created on the coastline where a manufacturing plant can be built to assemble the entire vessel. All the water is drained from that area and the ground is solidified. Then, all the machines and workers begin constructing the ship with many layers built in the process. Ships always have bronze propellers installed and there are usually more than one. The faster the propellers spin, the faster the ship will travel. Bronze metal is used because it doesn't catch fire in salt water. Now that the ship is ready, the question remains, how do you get such a massive vessel into the water? There are four techniques used to launch ships with the first being the floating out type. In this method, the area that was drained to build the ship is filled with water again, connecting it to the sea. The ship is then slowly moved into the water. The second technique is gravitational launching. The ship is brought to the seashore and placed on a structure resembling train tracks. Oiling and greasing are applied to the structure to reduce friction, allowing the ship to slide easily into the water. It's called gravitational because gravity does the work once the ship is positioned on the structure. The third method is airbag launching, which is the simplest way to launch a ship. The vessel is placed on large, cylinder-like airbags which float the ship into the water. The fourth and final technique is mechanical launching. This method is the most dangerous and is not typically used for large ships. The ship is lifted and placed into the water using a truck or crane, which can be quite risky. As a result, this method is typically reserved for smaller vessels. Now let's discuss what happens if a large ship breaks down in the middle of the ocean. If this occurs, the ship will begin drifting with the current. Ships usually have two engines, so if one fails, the other can temporarily take over. If both engines malfunction, there's always an engineer on board with spare parts to make emergency repairs. If the necessary part is unavailable, a tugboat must be arranged to tow the ship to the nearest port. So that's it for today's video. If given the chance, would you prefer to travel by airplane or ship? Let us know in the comments. If you learned something new from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.